This week we've spent some time up here doing the Florida Commissioner's Academic Challenge and it's been a great thing to be a uh, part of. We've had a good time. And one of the questions that have come up this week while we've been uh, working this academic challenge was what do I think is going to be on the paper one, two, three, and four exam? So I've written some predictions out. These are only predictions. These are questions that are commonly assessed on paper one, two, three, and four. Now, just because these predictions are being made, they are not guaranteed to be uh, shown up, but I've been teaching computer science for over 10 years. I've seen uh, the most commonly asked questions, even when we were doing computer science 9608. So let's go ahead and start with uh, paper one. Paper one, you're gonna have binary on the exam. You're gonna see binary, you're gonna see hexadecimal, and you're gonna see two's complement in some form. This could be giving you a negative number, asking you to write it in two's complement binary, could also have binary arithmetic, doing addition subtraction. Uh, we're gonna see those three things for sure. Binary, hexadecimal, uh, two's complement. You may see binary coded decimal, so you may wanna review that as well. Something that they've been doing a lot in 96.18 that they didn't do so much in 96.08 is logic expressions and building logic circuits using uh, the logic gate. So that's going to be on there in some form. Embedded systems, that's been huge on every exam since the inception of 96.18 during the first uh, exam that was given back in 2021. Embedded systems, you definitely need to know. They also tie in monitor and uh, control systems uh, to that. They're also going to ask you most likely about uh, primary and secondary memory along with the different types of RAMs, DRAM and SRAM. Those are almost uh, guaranteed. Relational databases will be on the exam. I think they've been on every paper one exam going all the way back to 9608 from 2015. So over the past 10 years, Relational databases are on there. SQL uh, most likely will be on there uh, as well. For paper two, it's gonna start off with identifiers and um, working out just simple expressions. You're gonna get an appendix for paper two, such as how to generate a random number, how to use left, right, mid, the string manipulation. So make sure you take a look at the appendix and make sure you're using it just like you would have been using it in class because if you write it wrong or in the wrong format that doesn't match the pseudocode handbook or appendix they give you, they will mark it wrong because you're not allowed to write real code on the exam. You have to write uh, pseudocode. I'm not a big fan of pseudocode. I think we should write real code, but Cambridge is gonna tell us what we need to do and uh, we will do that. Uh, string manipulation will be on there uh, for sure. State transition diagrams, those are starting to pop up more and more. So you need to make sure you know the events in the states, how they transition from one to another. Uh, you're gonna need to do one and 2D arrays. I think we're gonna see a 1D array that's gonna be given in a word problem. I think we're gonna to have to do a bubble sort this year with a 2D array. They did ask that on the first year. Haven't seen that in a while, but I think they're gonna bring that question back is using a bubble sort and performing it on a uh, 2D array. We're gonna get one of those abstract data types. I think it's gonna be for paper two, it's gonna be implementing queues and stacks uh, together. Um, that's all, all that I have down for uh, paper two. Of course, the last few questions of paper two are gonna be problem solving. They're gonna want you to write code for certain uh, methods or modules that they give you. They'll tell you specifically uh, what they want you to do. Um, I think one of those is gonna be uh, writing or reading from a file, a text file. So make sure you know how to use file handling. For paper three, Mantis and Exponent, that's been on every paper three exam since the beginning of time. This year, I don't expect anything uh, different. File organization, serial sequential random, that's going to be on there. Uh, I think we're going to see Boolean algebra. I think we're going to get a sum of products uh, truth table where we have to write the sum of products. I think we're going to have to put that into a K-map. Then I think they're going to give us an additional Boolean algebra problem that we'll have to simplify using uh, the laws. Big O notation is starting to show up more and more. If they ask about big O notation, I think they're going to ask about the difference between a binary search and a linear search. So I, I think they may say something like there is a, a data set that contains 
500 items discuss the big O notation difference between a linear search and a binary search on that uh, data set. So I think we're definitely going to see that. Uh, recursion, sometimes it shows up. I expect it to show up. But this year for uh, recursion, what I think we're going to have to do is look at uh, some code that they give us. We're going to have to trace it out and show what the final value is when the um, method is exited after its uh, recursive calls. For paper four, there will be a question where you have to use a text file. Random files or data files are not used. And when I say data files, I mean the .dat data types. Those are not used on paper four. Cambridge released a statement uh, one or two years ago that said .txt files need to be handled. That will be on the exam, so make sure you know how to do try-catch statements. I think this year they're going to kick it off with a very generic uh, programming uh, problem, and I think that is where the data, the TXT file is going uh, to come in. I think they're gonna have us perform a uh, sort on it and then a search. I think the sort they're gonna make us do this year is gonna be an insertion sort followed by a recursive binary search. So that is what I'm predicting for paper four, the first question. The second question will be object-oriented programming. The last couple of years, some of the uh, exams I've looked at, they've been pretty simplistic. It's been basic object-oriented programming with one class, you're instantiating uh, an object based on that class, writing set, get methods, and maybe one or two other methods. And of course, the constructor as well. Make sure your attributes are uh, private. There are no exceptions uh, to that rule. Um, I think what we're going to see this year is we're going to see inheritance. Um, they haven't asked it in a while, so I think we're going to see inheritance when one class inherits another class, and then I think they're going to have us write some type of polymorphic method where we override a uh, method so it acts differently in the child class than it does the uh, beginning class. The abstract data type that I think they're going to give us this year is going to be cues and or stacks. I have a strong suspicion that they're going to tie in a queue and a stack together, maybe popping items from a stack and putting it in the queue or dequeuing the items from the queue and placing them onto the stack. Those are my predictions, and that's all they are, are simply uh, predictions. If you think um, you have a better prediction, great. Make sure you post a comment below, and let's uh, share all the ideas that we think is going to show up on the paper 1, 2, and 3, 4 exam for the 2025 testing year. I'll see you guys very, very soon.